I. This is your guy Isaac Newton, the walking Bible. Today I will be reciting the book of First Timothy chapter 1 from verse 1 to 20. Let us remember that the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15, how that from a childhood you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Memorizing the Bible is a great thing to do for effective evangelism. Remember Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. It's good to memorize scriptures. I encourage you to subscribe to the Bible memorizing channel to challenge your brain for effective evangelism. First Timothy chapter 1 from verse 1 to 20 using the New King James Version we go Paul first Timothy chapter 1 verse 1 Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the commandment of God our Savior and the Lord Jesus Christ our hope first Timothy chapter 1 verse 2 to Timothy a true son in the faith grace mercy and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ First Timothy chapter 1 verse 3 as I urged you when I went into Macedonia remain in Ephesus that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine first Timothy chapter 1 verse 4 nor give heed to fables and endless genealogies which cause dispute rather than godly edification which is in faith first Timothy chapter 1 verse 5 now the commandment is love from a pure heart from a good conscience and from sincere faith first timothy chapter 1 verse 6 from which some having strayed have turned aside to idle talk first timothy chapter 1 verse 7 desiring to be teachers of the law understanding neither what they teach nor the things which they affirm first timothy chapter 1 verse 8 but we know that the law is good if one uses it lawfully first timothy chapter 1 verse 9 Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous person, but for the lawless and insubordinate, for the ungodly and for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers, murderers of mothers, and manslayers. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 10. For fornicators, for sodomites, for kidnappers, for liars, for perjurers, and if there is any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 11. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust, First Timothy chapter 1, verse 12, And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who has enabled me, because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 13, Although formerly I was a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man, but I obtained mercy, because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 14. And the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 1, 14. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 16. However, for this reason, I obtained mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show all long suffering as a pattern to go to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invincible to God who alone is wise be honor and glory forever and ever amen first Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 this charge I commit to you son Timothy according to the prophecies previously made concerning you that by them you may wage the good warfare first Timothy chapter 1 verse 19 having faith and a good conscience which some having rejected concerning the faith have suffered shipwreck first Timothy Chapter 1, verse 20, of whom are Hymenos and Alexander, whom I delivered to Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. This is the Bible memorizing channel. 
I have recited 1 Timothy 1 from verse 1 to 20 using the New King James Version. Remember, the Bible tells us in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now and forever. Thank you.